Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm so excited to open this Cosby Bubblehead Collection set of Star Wars Ahsoka. If you are a Star Wars fan, you will probably know Ahsoka way back in 2005. That's when they first introduced Ahsoka as the part of one of Anakin Skywalker in the Kung War animation movie. And then later on became uh, seven seasons of the animation as well. Um, but of course, this set is based on the Ahsoka, the show that was aired last year, September, October of 2023. Uh, it became a success. I heard that they're going to have the season 2 coming soon or they have written. Uh, I am not exactly sure, but uh, I'm, ex I'm all for it. I cannot wait till the end again. So anyway, this set is about that and so what's inside so basically uh you can see these are some of the figurines and according to the box uh it comes with eight figures so the first one is the ahsoka tunnel when she was a padawan so that is like a one when she was 13 or 14 to 17 of age and then ahsoka tunnel the adult age that you saw her um, in the series and then Anakin Skywalker, Supreme Wen. Uh, so basically what, sh uh, ha what happened is that though she is one of the uh, major characters in the the Rebel. It is also another animation um, that was aired a couple years ago. Uh, same thing for Hera Sandula and then Grand Admiral Fawn, Captain West and of course my favorite killer joy chopper so i'm gonna introduce these small figures uh later on when i open each boxes but basically um i'm supposed to get uh these egg figure rings uh june as i got i got the mystery one which i don't know if i get it here but anyway uh but if i got the mystery one i'm gonna end up losing one of the um, curtains here. So anyway, before further ado, let's open and see what I have. So it's very cool. So this is what the box looks like. It comes with the, like I said before, it comes with eight of them. So it's random. You cannot really tell which is which until you actually open the box and see the card and so forth. So um, let's open it randomly. Which one should I open? Let's open this one first. So basically, um, Ahsoka series is a combine of the uh, David Filoni's uh, two major animations, the Kong War and the Rebel. And oh, nice. So my first uh, character I got is Captain West. So uh, a little bit of history about him. So basically he was one of the Kong who always worked with Anakin Skywalker and uh, Obi-Wan when Anakin Skywalker is still working for the Republic or before uh, Palpatine became the Emperor. So he basically one of the major characters in the Kong War and then later on the Rebel he became a very old guy uh, but most importantly his relationship with Ahsoka was like like some like one of the best relationships during the Kong War um, and he was the one if you if you get a chance to see the last episode of the Clone War, you can see why. Um, it's kind of sad because he was the only clone that was able to survive with Ahsoka, and so they are just very best friends. And then in the Red Belt, they reunite reuni reunited again, and then they um they you know did a lot of stuff together. So I'm very happy that I get a West. I, I still, I think at this moment, I still don't have him uh, for any other figurines. So I'm very happy to get him. Uh, it's, very un um, it's not very, um, you know, unique or something. It's just that, I mean, the bubble head doesn't really bubble, but like, but you know, it's West. So I mean, to have one is nice. 
Uh, so now I'm going to open the second one and see which one I get. Okay, so, um, oh, and we also get the car. So this is Hera Sandula. So she is a commander who's like a very good pirate in the web -out. So uh, she was a major character in the web of animations and later, of course, also a, one of the major characters in Ahsoka series. Uh, there was a long history between her and, Ahso and Ahsoka. Um, they were all both uh, fought for the against the, the Empire. So there was a big, a long history of these two together. And she also worked with Captain West uh, when he got uh, when he became like old, so okay, third one. Nice. So I got the the other one. Yes. So this is the part of one Ahsoka Tano. So um, regardless if you saw the um, the soul, Ahsoka Soul only or the Clone War, you can see that um, when they define as a part of one, he, uh, she's is basically is Anakin Skywalker's part of one, and that is a one of age of fourteen to thirteen or seventeen of age because uh, during the Clone War season she actually grew up as a kid to a teenager it's kind of sad because they actually basically put like kids to fight you know war that you know so meaningless so this is the kill version of ahsoka when she was younger because in the ahsoka soul that was like i think 30 years after since the clone war so that so she, ahsoka the the one you saw on the soul is a one like 50 years of age So now I'm opening this one, and yes, this is one of my favorite characters in the Rebel. He is Chopper. So basically, um, according to people who watch the Rebel, so they actually did a research. That they are the fact that they actually can. Uh, so basically, he is one. He is considered one of the most crazy, psychotic killer robot. Is because that just. The rebel so alone, he, they have estimated that he had killed more than fifty thousand uh, troops. So he is a lunatic, and I, that's why I love him so much. He can kill whatever he wants. Just don't mess with him, though, or he will also kill you. So basically, he is a. Um, I guess what happened is that during the Clone War, he was supposed to have a leader or someone, a pirate that he, he was supposed to be like, you know how uh, R2-D2 with Luke Skywalker, but uh, I guess that he's the person he was supposed to follow crashed into a planet and that's when Hera Sandula, when she was still a kid, um, found him fix him and then since then they became inseparable so i think it's very cute so basically chopper is like the son of hair and what the problem is that though he's a little bit different is that they always consider him have some like you know crazy um i guess they didn't really fix his circuit board so that he has his own thinking and that's why that how he like do all this crazy stuff uh killing people with for, like any logic like r2d2 which i think that's one reason why many people like him as well i mean you know to have a joint that is actually have his own free will i think that is you know what freedom is about and i really like how you know um hair was always be a good mother for him but i don't know about uh, her let she letting chopper play with, with his son in the soul but oh well so now let's go to another figurine and let's see what i get yes i got the 
one of my favorite villains in Star Wars is Grand Admiral Four. So basically in the Rebel, he was also a character in the Rebel, but I think many of Star Wars fans who read uh, about, I mean, there's this trilogy of books and many of them who are diehard fans, which sadly I, have, I haven't read it yet. Um, it's, it's like a history of him and I think that's one reason why that he, many people like him. It's because that what he does is that he, I think some of the, okay, I, think, I don't know if this is broken or something. So basically the head is a little bit weird. So what happened is that um, he, when he trying to fight against you, he, like he doesn't have any like big, like, you know, killing technique. But like all he does is that he will study you, he will study your culture. He will look at like he will find all the history, all the information about you, and then he will use that to fight against you. And I think that is one reason why that he uh, is one of the famous, like one of the best villain that Star Wars fans consider him as. And he was he was very bad also in the so, but even though I mean. Um, the, the, the sad part about the show is that the, the, he just always relying on the witch uh, which I think that is not him so I think that the rebel if you don't watch don't read the books I think that would be a much better representation of him but of course if you have read the book he may be um, he is much more badass than you could think of so this is what he looks like I'm not exactly sure what this is I guess it's a tele uh, like hologram of him trying to dominate the planet or whatever that is so um nothing special like i said like other ones um it doesn't really bubble but this is him f thinking it's a little cute figurine of him but of course no one is as good as chopper um that can actually you know rotate like this it's, it's very cool can this work Okay, yeah, doesn't really move, but I mean, still though. Anyway, okay, let's go on to which is next. Which one will I get? I'm gonna put this aside. Whoops. Alright, so on my next one, I'm thinking about getting Sabrina because that is. The next, I mean, we only have like three more chances, and yes, I guess correct. I got Sabrina when so uh, she is, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, she is a, one of the characters in the rebel. Um, she, I am not exactly sure what was the main history, but she is a Mandalorian. Um, I think in the rebel, she is one of the like she is under. I guess she. What happened is that the, she is a Mandalorian who lived in Mandalore with her uh, family of clan, but then she betrayed them by joining the Republic and created a very advanced um, machine that could kill all the Mandalorians. And then, but in the end, she fixed that and then uh, rekindled with her families and gave and took. Well, she also took the Dark Saber, which ended up giving it to Bo Katan uh, before she uh, gave it to Gideon in The Mandalorian. But why? Anyway, she. Um, I'm not exactly sure why she. Oh, yeah, and then she also has the Green Saber that she's holding that is supposedly from Ezra. I'm surprised that they don't have Ezra in this, in this, in this figurines. Anyway, um. Doesn't matter. So basically, she is a Mandalorian. She is good in technologies, and uh, I really like her uh, purple hair. Yeah, she is also very artistic. She usually draw art, uh, paint her hair, uh, you know, graffiti, a lot of stuff uh, in the rebel. You didn't really see much of that in the Ahsoka, and for some reason, I really don't like her that much in Ahsoka. So than the Clone War because they just portray her like this very selfish, uh, emotional, um, you know, disobedient. Well, she is always dis 
opinion, but like she just, it's just not some characters you would like. And for some reason that there is no relationship, not like all than like a brother and sister in the Clone War, but somehow in the show that you kind of want to make it like a relationship kind of stuff. Uh, so I don't, I think that's one reason why there's so much like mixed feeling about them. But anyway, uh, it looks very good in the figurine here. The gun is here. Um, the the figure looks good, even though the um, the gun kind of looks a little thick and stuff but the and the lightsaber looks like a patan more than a lightsaber but anyway um i like it it's still cool so okay let's move on to another box so okay so finally i get the um the Edo ahsoka which is the 50 years old Ahsoka Tan Tano. Uh, to be honest, though, they never really say how old is Ahsoka Tano in the in show, but for people who have guessed it, if the Clone War starts 30 years before the... Um, uh, before, I mean, because I think the Clone War is like around 30 years or something like this. Um, so it makes sense. I mean, what I meant is that though, it's like the Como starts it like around 30 years before the Empire collapsed, so that, and since Ahsoka took place after the Empire collapsed, which that means that when uh, Darth Vader died and Luke Skywalker, you know, um, the Rebel wins, and then also they create a new Republic. So. So I'm assuming she's a 150 or even 60, so whatever you think it is. So this is, uh, it looks very bad. Still, uh, her head doesn't really can move, but it is so cool. I really like this one. Also like the ninja suits here. Okay, and finally, so, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm not going to get a mystery one because um, it's I probably this last box is Anakin Skywalker. I mean, I would prefer Anakin Skywalker than the mystery one. So let's open this and see what I get. And I'm a hundred percent sure I think I get the Anakin Skywalker. Instead. So for many people who don't know who Anakin Skywalker is, I think his last name is already known he is a fa the father of Luke and Leia Skywalker uh, who was in the you know, the challenges or the original Star Wars movie so basically he is what well, he was Darth Vader and that's and right now what you're seeing is that this is the Anakin Skywalker that is before he turned into Darth Vader or John the Dark Side. So basically, this is when he was in the Clone War series. Um, so like during between the um, the challenges of, I guess the the I think it's the um, oh I forgot what's the first two episodes of the movie so basically the phantom menace and then the um i forgot what is the of name i just so basically um yeah i i i forgot but basically like the movie the is so the clone war is between the second movie of the star war and also the third one which is the revenge of the Sith. so so it's in between that. So this is the Anakin Skywalker of that time period before he turned into Darth Vader. And but of course in the Ahsoka show he appear uh, he appear uh in I guess when Ahsoka was drowning. Um, so we still have no idea where they were that taking place, but I guess that is the world between world which they talk about doing the 
red belt. So basically, if you really know, want to learn more of these characters, I would highly recommend you to watch the red belt, the animation. Uh, many people think that, oh, it's the animation, it's nothing important, it's like stupid. But to be honest, though, those like the Clone War and the red belt are one, some of the best animations you could ever find. And if you're a Star Wars fan, I would highly recommend you to watch it. Um, so anyway, um, overall, this is what the whole set looks like without the mystery box. Um, I think uh, the least favorite one at this moment, even though it's wet, I'm not a big fan of that. It just looks like a typical cone. Um, it doesn't really look unique. Um, for me, I'm a big fan of Chopper, so I have a, my little bias. So um, of all of them, I love this Chopper figurines. Uh, but overall, I'm surprisingly, I really like the part of one Ahsoka and also Sabrina Wan. So the rest, I mean, well, Anakin Skywalker is a unique character, so I'm very good to have him as well as uh, Admiral 4. So overall, I'm very satisfied with this set. Uh, should you get it? Is it worth it? I think it's really personal, depending on if you like the animations. If you're a big fan of Star Wars and the animation, I would highly recommend you to get it. If you like the show, I will also highly um, suggest you to get it. If not, well, then I'm sure that there are other sets which I'm going to be opening soon. Um, and I uh, hope you will like it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and see you guys on my next uh, video. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.